Hey, how's it going? What's up? It's me, Dr. Tiger X PhD. Um, welcome back to Slice and Dice. A uh, couple housekeeping things. I don't know if this is going to be daily. Um, right now it is, but, you know, it could change. Um, apparently, last video, uh, there was no music, which is funny because I kept talking about the music. Um, so I've turned that up. I don't know if it's, like, super, super loud or super overpowering or what, but music should be a little louder, sound effects should be a little louder, so, you know, there we are. Um, I played a little bit at work, uh, win streak up to, or win percentage up to 64, uh, streak up to 4. I did lose... Yeah, yeah. I lost to Baron. This guy is fucked now. This guy is tough. This boss did not used to be this tough, it is definitely tough now. Um, he used to be pretty free, actually. Um, but I've won since then. Um, so, you know. We're on a four streak. Uh, we're gonna do, yeah, you know, what we can to maintain it. Music is pretty loud in my headphones, but I think it's fine overall. Looking at OBS, it seems okay relative to the mic volume. Um, okay, this seems terrible. Because this could be rough, and oranges are weirdos in general. Um, basic, I mean, it's basic, right? I'm going to go magical, I think, because this seems neat. Yeah, this just seems neat. Uh, and I did play a couple magical runs um, while at work, and that was pretty neat. Uh, big hitter... <sighs> I don't know how to feel about this curse. Well, let's, what's our team here? Healer, Acolyte, fine. Cultist, I guess that gives Healer something to do on turn one. Tinder is... Uh, Tinder is Tinder. Clumsy is just going to cantrip into a thorn and die, so that doesn't really matter, I guess. Add Wisp used to be free. It's not so free anymore. I think it's fine to take, though. Um, apparently, I d uh, well, I'm not apparently, I mean, I didn't really explain much of the game last video, so I'll try to do my best here, but it's a little, a lot going on. Uh, you have five characters, right? Each of them has a different color, which kind of denotes their class, right? Blues are typically magic-focused, so they generate a lot of mana, do a lot of healing, and they come with a unique spell. Uh, reds are like magic healing hybrids. They also come with a spell, but they're focused a lot on healing, cleansing, negative effects, and generating mana. Uh, healer is the same here. Greens are the monster class. These guys are weirdos. I don't really know how to describe them. Uh, grays do shielding, but we don't have a gray. Yellows are your generalized damage. Um, and oranges are... They're also damage, but they're kind of wild card too. Like, this is clumsy. Love is art. Um, he's got cantrip sides here, so he can do one damage. The cantrip activates when the dice rolls. Alright, so we have this one up already, which means this rat took damage. You can't control where this damage lands, but it's free damage just for rolling, which you're doing anyway, right? Um, but he's clumsy because he also has a self-damage cantrip that he can hit, which will damage him and there's nothing you can do about it. And then he has some cleave sides. Um... We definitely keep this for cultists. He's taking two damage, so that will bring him back above a threshold that hurts him. I mean, I think we just roll clumsy. That's fine. You'll hear my dog click clacking his nails against the floor as well. I know he showed up in the last video. Uh, we're going to roll Ackley and we're going to roll Tinder. Well, I didn't want to keep the self-damage, but... What can you do? Um, so he's dying anyway, so we could do this. Bursting clumsy so he can hit the thorn is good. And then the wisp should run here, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Ugh, Disciple or Myco. See, so, on a magical team, you your blue matters a lot, right? Because that's kind of usually what you're building around. So you kind of want an impactful spell, 
that comes out of him. Spore is not... I mean, it's good, but it's not as... It's not the impact that we need right now, right? It's not the hero we need. So, I'm going to pick Disciple, because this is basically just Healer 2.0. Two mana gain, double use heal, revive. Uh, glow is her spell, replaces blank sides with heal and shield 2. It's okay. You don't really find yourself in a position where you're playing that, but you never know. It could help with Clumsy and, you know. I'm going to keep that, because I think the cleave is good. I will keep that. This kills him, which is fine. Uh, this character wants to die, because he does damage on death to all enemies, so. That's fine. Take the mana from Acolyte. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. It's a perfect hit, really, because he stays alive, too. Um, you can die. We'll hit the B. Kill the archer. Hit the wisp. I do not want the wisp to summon. Oh, glow is one mana now. That's actually really good. Interesting. That's very cool. That, uh, we have lethal. Just take the lethal, All right? Don't mess around. Uh, knife bag. Blank sides become cantrip pain. Uh, infused herbs. Random tier one. We don't really have a lot of X's to replace. Infused herbs would be good if it's not... wasn't... It's mana cost, right? So it costs what the pips are. So this will cost me two mana to play, which kind of sucks. I'm just going to go random. Doll. Here, above's base side, minus one to the five right sides. Okay. Does that do anything here? Doesn't really seem worth it. Maybe it comes in handy on something else, but... Uh, so we take this, for sure. This could keep Tinder alive. We're going into a boss fight, right? Fight 4. So it's kinda... might be worthwhile keeping him at 5 HP, if for no other reason than to soak up more than one hit. I will keep this. I don't want Clumsy rolling into anything stupid. But I mean, then again, it just does damage to the bees, right? Okay, we definitely caught on Disciple. We can decide if we want him to die. He might have to to save Acolyte. Oh no, he doesn't. He definitely doesn't. Uh, he does. Okay. Fine with that turn. <laughs> We don't want Cultists to kill himself. We can revive Tinder. One mana's fine. What are you doing? You drain out the goblin? Oh no, we just have lethal. Random tier four or one item? Okay. Oh, it's a cursed item. Okay. Shouldn't have taken that. After an ability is used, one self damage. You have the most HP, so let's save you right there. Presence, I think, is kind of bad. Evoker might be the mana payout, the spell that we want. I think drop is a generally pretty good spell. It's uh, three mana for four damage to the top enemy. Which is really good with Add Wisps because you get this one mana refunded from this health pit. 
We'll take that. My brother in Christ, please. Thank you. So now we're Wisp is dead. That does save the rat. I mean, it's fine. I mean, Tinder's on a death spiral anyway, right? I think that's okay. Cleansing the poison here would be good. And one more of those and he'll, he's, he'll, he's dead. Well, maybe that was ambitious of me. Um, who would I rather save? Oh, no, I can save both. I can save both. I cannot save everyone. Um, because Disciple has that bolt, that's right. I'd rather Acolyte die than Clumsy, then. Because if this character dies with the self-damage, it's just going to keep dying over and over and over. At least Acolyte has a chance to stay alive, and then that is just lethal right there. Uh, foil is goaded. Uh, fletching. This could be good to prevent him from killing himself, but... I think foil is just... better, right? While we have this revive- this... Tinder character, I'd rather have the revive. Let's put it with one damage, that's fine. Tinder dying here would be really great. I don't think I want that. That's definitely what I want. That saves you. Yeah, we'll do that. If I don't have to... Who are you... Who are you targeting? What the, oh, they're targeting Tinder, so they are targeting nobody because he he dies. Right, 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 right. Okay. They might run from this position. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Now that's lethal. Okay. Um. I hate this character. I really hate this character. Coffin on paper seems very good. You get another character like to meet sponge but that's now one less uh tier four that you're getting so i don't know it doesn't really seem worth it it's down just a little bit i'll go with druid druid solid um I still think that's more impactful, honestly, than reviving this dog shit character. Keep the two mana. And I'll keep you alive if it's possible. I'd love a, a mana hit from Disciple. No. Nope. It's rough, right? Because we're banking a lot on blowing this barrel up to kill these and then mop up the rest, but it's a lot of poison coming out. I think it's fine. We have really good cleanse. We have really good cleanse through Druid. <clears throat> That's fine. Definitely take that. Definitely, <coughs> excuse me, take that. I think I need to take that damage. You piece of shit. Okay, well that kills that. Yeah, I mean this is fine. 
we win from here. Mana, mana. I think this just wins. Pure Heart Pendant or Ritual Dagger. Both of these are kind of ass. Right side. It's a decent replacer. I don't love replacing my middle side. Although, it is kind of just better on Druid. I don't know. I'd rather take a random. Heal 3 to all Azul Shield Cleanse. Well, I mean, it's an item. Uh, we definitely want to kill this barrel if we can. Yeah, that, that. I think that does it. Wasting a little bit of mana, but does this... It does make those immune. Oh, and now you're not dying. I see the problem. I see the problem. It's a problem because all those illusions live, right? And that's a petrify on Disciple and a weaken on Disciple. And another. So Disciple takes the turn off. Evoker takes part of the turn off. And we get a bones added in. I think I have to. Okay. Everyone is on Clumsy right now. This might be a take the guarantee type situation. Yeah, I mean, there's just no saving him, right? Evoker could maybe roll for more mana? <laughs> this way I save a little more mana? I think this is okay. It's a risky one. I mean, I might not make it out of this this run. Three damage there is good. Just give me one mana. I just need one mana. Thank you. The Death Spiral is what's got me concerned. Man, this is a tough choice, because I love both these characters. Trapper is pretty good. He used to have a growth shield side here, but this is now a two dodges, which I think is fine. Sphere, though, with these rerolls... And the stun is pretty nice, too. I think it's gotta be Trapper, though. I, the dodge is really nice. And we don't... We're, like, pretty lacking on damage. So I think having that extra... Um, Vulnerable is good. Vulnerable's target takes plus one damage from dice and abilities. This is great. We'll definitely be able to hit that. Hopefully on Magrat. That would be... Awesome. Do I want... Hmm. I think I do use this, because she ends up at more overall HP. Woo woo. <clears throat> I 
I'll definitely take that. <clears throat> Let's roll and see where we're at. Mana here, growth there. That's my guy, that's a Voker. That's what we needed to see. That's fine there, and then that clears there and brings Disciple over a breakpoint. Yeah, I think this is fine. <clears throat> I did not come into this expecting um, Druid's growth side to carry the way it has, but I mean, it really has. I think we're okay. Do we have to spend four mana to do that? Is that worth saving, Disciple? Would that save, Disciple? Wrong red. That saves her. It's like, what do I want, right? Do I want to bring a wolf in or do I want to bring a bones in? Wolves are... Wolves. Excuse me. Kind of ass. I think that's okay. I would like a heal for Disciple now. This is good, that kills Agnes. A heal for Disciple would go crazy. There you go. Because now you go there, you got that. You go there, you go there. Druid still dies. So then you go there. I mean, if we lose here to two wolves, I we kind of deserve it, right? This growth side is going crazy, man. I'm telling you. I'm the growth believer right now. Cool. Tiara. self heal on mana is really good with this item that we have for Disciple. Splitting arrows is generally, I think, just kind of bad. That's good. That... I mean, this is just strictly better, right? If this character lives. I don't want to replace Trapper's Dodge because I know I'm going to need it and then not have it. I'd rather roll mana on Druid. Or not. Yeah. So Tinder hitting there is fine. Kill the Wisp. Okay. I really have too much to say about this run. I mean, it's a lot of under the hood thinking this one not gonna lock this now because I think we can kill that bones that's hitting trapper I mean definitely uh, I'd almost rather have mana on you but now we're in a position where it's like we don't have herbalist so like what is trapper really doing right now right The 
Evoker still dies. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that works. It's a tough one to see, but the, the bones the bones exploding on death makes everything just like weird to see for me. Maybe that's a me problem, but I don't know. Power up plus one to all sides, plus two to this is really terrible. Oh no, we took Ed Wisp. Uh, monsters get max HP too is really bad. I was gonna say it might be fine, but. Ooh, this is a tough one, too. I do love Granite, and I do love Alien. Let's go Granite. So you can fill up that X there. Above Heroes, base side. Is that... ever worth it? Let's give it a shot. It might be terrible, but, you know. Um, so if we could kill one of these, Granite won't die. Who do you have to- you have to target the Banshee. Now you have to target the Zombie. Right. Heavy. Hmm. That X and Disciple really, really hurt. Doesn't change anything. Okay, we'll just hold the mana then. Granite Stone HP is is sick. Four there. You die for that, but not if I heal you. I'd rather get the heal on Disciple. I think. Yikes, okay. I don't know if I ended I think I ended up with less mana overall off of that play. I don't know. Someone dies here, for sure. I mean, it has to be okay. Granted, at least comes back with two stone HP. This might be one of my only ways to get four damage onto the the Zambi. Well, then in that case, why not do that? But I mean, it's not going to matter anyway if I can hit this growth side. Or, I mean, there, there's a lot. Yeah, see, there's a lot I could hit to kill that guy. Gizmo sucks. I hate this item. Fuck this item. Monocle engage. Times two if they're on full health. Could be good. Ambrosia. Oh! Oh, yeah, okay. So now just nobody ever dies, ever. As long as I hit that side. That's crazy. Take that. I mean, you just roll for it, right? Okay, well... Really, what did I expect? You're fine, you're fine, we can... Hit you there... Do that... Spend one mana, instead of two, bursting?
Guess my vulnerable was wasted in Wisp there, but it's all right. Okay, now I take that. Now we start to settle, because, I mean, with one guy dying at exact HP, there's not really a reason to hit my rescue death defy. Kill the imp. I think that's okay. Not a super threatening fight, to be honest. I mean, with Druid, with having balance, one damage to all is like... Anti-illusion technology. I'm gonna risk it on Evoker, because I think... If I do hit an X, I can always glow it, and it looks like I might need that to save some- Well, okay, no. Never mind. Crazy hit off of Granite. Hitting that there, that, that, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, there's no way we don't hit four damage here somewhere. Okay, Wendigo again, same as yesterday, that's fine. Dancer Forsaken. So, I go Forsaken here. Because Forsaken's a lot better. First of all, she doesn't have top and bottom X's. Uh, consistent damage. The three revive is crazy. Um, these two heal alls are good. Bind is also really good now. I think a lot better. It used to be minus three max HP and the target becomes immune to damage. Now it's deplete, so that costs one more every time you cast it. But the key thing here is that I believe... Well, Granite might not be magical, but if so, if not, Trap... Oh, no, it, he is not magical. He's the one that's possessed. Okay, so Dancer might be fine, but Dancer into Thorns just seems bad. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick to my... my plan here. Self-heal man... Oh, that's crazy. Well... Uh, uh, It's not likely to make an impact. Let's just negate her pain side. Okay, so we lock the X's on Granite. For sure. That's really good to take out a Thorn. Evoker, you piece of shit. No, we do this thorn because that saves Forsaken. Do that. Uh, okay, so the Wisp has to live, which is. I mean, it's fine. This is terrible now because you because he's possessed, so we would be deathifying all the enemies. Not uh. Ideal there, I'd say. This is fine. It's gonna be on Evoker. That does not kill you, that's fine. That's good there. Yeah, that saves more mana overall. Rather than doing two balance... Balance will cancel out the Curse Bolt on Forsaken. But I save more overall mana by bursting her once and then bursting to save Evoker. Now, though, I think we just want to go in for the kill. That helps. I'd love an X on this guy. Oh, no. Okay, so... Hmm... Can you use that on him? That's so funny. I'm 
I guess it's fine, right? Because he wasn't dying anyway, so... I don't know. Uh, I'd rather have man... Uh, that's fine. That's also fine, because we can just use it last. If it was like a forced first keyword, that would be... different. Yeah, and then we, we've got him here. Weird fight. Super weird fight. Reroll granite? Mm, no, I think I'm fine. Uh, consonant idol or blood amulet? Consonant idol's really good. Blood amulet does nothing really for forsaken. These are both really good items. This is a tough choice. I think I value the consonant idol more because it's a lot more flexible. I mean, it's just really good on Forsaken, right? Yeah. Okay. Two wisps. Or a wisp, uh, two wolves coming in. Not great. We'll take that. I should have locked that heavy. That was a mistake. Kill the war chief. That saves quite a bit. Pain and Forsaken is whatever. Hear my dog going crazy. I, I'm honestly not sure if anyone can hear it, but he is going nuts. He is popping off. He's, he's over there fighting demons of his own. Is there ever a world where I can get Alpha? Is that worthwhile? Sure. Nightmare enemy here. Nightmare enemy. If they ever roll this side, I mean, it's... It's tough, right? Druid would love a cleanse. Trapper, I will take that dodge. That also works. I honestly forgot I had that side, so... And then now I can just... Drop to my heart's content, right? Because Forsaken can't die. Okay, we're getting there. We're making it through. Sure, just so I don't have to think about it. Although, if I hit this, I already don't have to think about it. Just take the guarantee. Yeah, because you can hit mana and then this is like, this is done. Yeah, sick. Uh, garbage generated hero. Bloodless mana is fine. Four mana decay is okay. Whoa, though, this... This spell goes nuts, though. Heal three for one? Hexia, eat your heart out? Am I taking this? Sets me up well for Silk Cape as well. Not that you really rely on, on targeting one specific item. It's a bad way to strategize, I think, but... I'm gonna go sharp shot because I think I need drop. And Trapper's not really doing anything right now, right? Well, changing him to a pretty, pretty decent damage powerhouse I think is good. And I want to see some mana here. Mana? This is fine, this is fine. 
She, I mean, Forsaken is just not missing this. That's crazy. Uh, kill the Wisp for sure. Set you lower. I can overkill the bandit. <clears throat> These two will run away. Which I definitely can. Where are we at here? Hang on. So I just need Evoker and Granite to hit something meaningful. Like that. Okay. Pocket mirror is another, I guess, another item I could have used for that uh, that generated hero. These are tough. I think pocket mirror applies more universally. I could copy that. I could copy that. I think this is fine for now because we're relying on drop a lot, right? This is okay, this is okay. That's okay. Not ideal out of Druid. Druid hitting something that's not an X next turn, I think, would be good. I don't need this. Who's killing Sharp Shot? Oh, let's just see where we're at. It's tough, right? Because you want to drop, but you, I don't want to waste the one damage on the Wisp when this just, like, hitting the bones just kills it. So we do that. That. Didn't really do much that turn, but... What can you do? Well, I know what I could have done. I could have rolled better. Or rolled more, I should say. Copying self heal will be nice on this sharp shot. My guy, he just doesn't miss. So self heal, kill the spiker. Although all this mana had nothing to do with it. Okay. Yeah, and that's just... That's just lethal, right? Okay, I wish I could undo this achievement. Undo 500 times. Oh, no. These are all terrible. Unlocks a bunch of tier 0 items. Um, yeah, see, Sorcerer is the pick that I like here. Heal 4 regen. It's like a shitty... It's a shitty profit. I like Sorcerer here. I like Sorcerer a lot. We can cover one of his exes. We can give him some self-heal in case he shits his pants live on TV. Add foil back to granite. Don't know why he didn't have it in the first place. Did the doll do anything? Nah. Okay. Love that. Holy cow, I didn't even think about that. Having the cantrip for, uh... For, uh, Sharp Shot's copycat side, too. And he... Man, this guy. God bless, Sorcerer. Honestly, God bless that character. I do love this guy. 
he is my personal demons because like you just you see the blue you see the purple the reroll side you just want to instinctively click it but it's not always correct i will acknowledge that it is certainly not always correct forsaken takes the turn off doesn't matter what she rolls are we ever getting over that HP threshold like to a point where I need to lock this I don't think so so I'm gonna roll yeah that was the right move I think okay and dude brings out two sp well we would have but that's okay Dude brings out three spiders, that's fine. Now we roll for it. My guy. That's fine there. That's fine there. Oh man, I just did the thing where I adjust the screen, didn't I? I totally did. I know the music's cutting out, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. Do I need to risk this? I don't think I do. This is good. This might just be lethal already. Well, now it definitely is. I'm trying to do some styling with the three cost spells, but... Cheat death. Win the Trantis fight with no dead heroes. Hmm. Place Granite with a generated hero. Definitely not. Oh my god, this is like... Holy cow, that's a combo. Era, Sorcerer, now if fights go long, which they can if Granite keeps hitting this side. Good god, now Sorcerer just... He just owns the rest of the... The rest of the game. The dude just takes over. Cleanse 2 there. Kill the Wiz, that's cool. I really wish I could hit that Wisp, but... Oh, we don't have drop anymore! Right! Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, even after one turn, the two mana cantrip is just crazy. I think the fight's just over now. Well. It wouldn't be slice and dice without a little bit of comedic effect, I suppose. I don't have four damage I can deal to you, do I? That's so funny. I've not been using hotkeys this entire video, by the way. I apologize if that's been driving you insane. Um, this is just lethal, right? It has to be. Yeah. Shield one cleave. But, I mean, Tainted is fucking garbage. Like, you cannot pick this character. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Two X's are... I mean, this is, like, fairly standard, right? Sorcerer, by default, has two X's. Granite had two X's. But... Picking up a tier 4 curse is like... Like, what is this- I don't- what is this character for, right? Anyway, do I want to replace Druid? Probably not. Let's go random. Which is a little psychotic, but... 5 damage inflicts single use. What's my tactic? 4 damage vitality. What? What?
that never saves anybody. What is this character? What is this? That did just make the run significantly worse. He still has a death defy side, but not having rescue on it just kind of makes it worthless. That's fine. If I can kill the Hydra here, I'm okay. So I'm down to lock really any damage I can get. And just let Sorcerer do Sorcerer things. Like hitting X's, yeah. His, his one X. Yeah. Fine with that. This dude gets aired up, gets aired out of his mind. Single use, sure. Although maybe I want to roll for Death Defy. Nah. That's fine. Oh my god, it copies the era too. Oh my lord, that's so good. Alright, now I will keep that. Now you stay alive. I could tactic someone. Oh, that just kills you. Oh, I see. It doesn't heal. So I'm so used to profit. Let me pull up profit here. Where's my? Is it here? Where is the hero menu? Profit has these heal vitalities, but this fills the heart container if you increase max HP. Uh, vitality by default doesn't, it's because it's attached to a heal side that it fills. So this that this tactic is effectively just 4 damage. I'm a moron. Okay. Triple Shuriken uh, also goes crazy on Sorcerer, but like we're kind of at a point we may have too many items for Sorcerer. But, like, this is just good. Maybe that comes in handy. You never know. Especially with snipers, I guess. Snipers can be pretty rough for clearing people out. Nah, now you just roll for it. Take that, because I don't think one... Four damage, I'll eliminate. Hmm. Now I take that. Because the rescue won't make a difference, and I have the death defy, so why not? Well, I mean, he's dying, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I, I forgot I have bind, too. I guess bind is a way to death defy. I'd rather not have a bone spawn in. And then we'll just bank, too. Yeah, that was definitely worthwhile. I mean, it's risky giving Sorcerer the extra X. You open him up to do a lot more Sorcerer things. But, like... Yeah, like that. The value on doubling... The bonus you get from Era and from Chain is just crazy. You were there. 
right? Like, what? God, what even is Q-W-E-R-T-Y? So this is the Y? Wild, man. This is wild. That's so much poison. God, I love this character. Oh, the reroll gets doubled too. That could be crazy. Oh, the fight's just over. Hexia? The hand. Okay. What is your spell? Heal three. I mean, you put these characters side by side, right? This is like just pick your pick your character. Salve is heal two for one. This is heal three for one. With one more X, is that worth it? Two more X's technically. I think I keep Witch on that one. Not cash charge one time even. All right, we go. For a second, I'm curious. No, she does still die. Okay, so I need to roll the Death Defy out of this guy in order to save Forsaken. That could be a problem. Boost to... What else can Witch roll? I think I want the mana out of her. That is an issue, isn't it? Oh, wrong spell now. It's on T, because I moved it around. This one dies, this one exerts. Okay, I mean, we just have to live with it, right? Super good turn for us. Holy cow, even better with Witch. I'm locking that because this is just really, really powerful. I'll take that. And now we just need Sorcerer to give big mana. I mean, that is the hugest mana, right? Yep. Mm hmm. You stop when you're ready, buddy. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. 66 mana, you know. It is what it is. Uh, hang on, I do want to get a screenshot of this. Because these sides are crazy. All right. Very professional. Uh, all right, let's take this guy down. I'm weakening him as if it matters, right? 66 mana. Really cool run. Really cool run. I, I do just love... Anytime I get to use Sorcerer and make him, like, crazy, it's a happy day for me. I, God, I love that character. Um, yeah, anyway, that's Slice and Dice. Streak 5. Going strong on 3.0. Um, I'm Dr. Tiger XPHD. Thanks for watching. I'm, uh, out of here.